We're now going to talk about graphic cards for computer vision and deep learning. Do you really need a graphic card to work with computer vision and deep learning? If so, what graphic card do you need? What brand, AMD or Nvidia? How much memory does your graphic card need to have? We're going to talk about all of this right now. Uh, hi, welcome to this new video. I'm Sergio, I'm a computer vision consultant, developer and course instructor, and I help companies, freelancers and students to easily and efficiently build computer vision software. Before starting, I want to tell you that if you're a beginner, if you're new on the field of computer vision and you want to learn more about it, I have a free crash course. It's one hour. It's called Computer Vision Blueprint, where you are going to learn how you can detect and track any object, even if you have no experience and you're just starting with computer vision. Now let's get back to the graphic card. So I'm going to share the screen and I'm going to talk like if I had to decide to buy graphic cards, so I will walk you also through the thought process and the experience that I have with graphic cards, especially for computer vision. Let's now reply to the first doubt and most important question. What brand do you need to get? Usually we have two graphic cards brands and they are, they are Nvidia and AMD, which have all the market. Right here, the choice is very easy because only Nvidia supports the deep learning library, the most common deep learning library like TensorFlow, Darknet and PyTorch. So it's not only about computer vision, it's about machine learning, deep learning in general. These are the most common libraries and Nvidia, which uh, found a platform called CUDA, which supports parallel computing. It's made by NVIDIA and works only with these graphic cards. So NVIDIA is the way to go. When we search for NVIDIA graphic cards, of course, there is still a huge amount of choice. So now I'm, go I'm using Google Shopping right here, NVIDIA GPU. So let's see around what type of graphic cards we have, prices, and what are the difference in general before getting into the specific to what we need. We have different type of graphic cards from the RTX series and the GTX series where the RTX are the newest and more powerful and the GTX are all now even, they should be out of production. Also, so here for example, when you look, we look for the most popular, we have the 3060, NVIDIA RTX 3060, 3050, GTX 1660, 3050, 3090, like the best ones so far, and so on. So what do we need to choose regarding the graphic card? There is one main important requirement, which is the memory. So I'm going straight to the point on to understand like how you can choose a graphic card. Better memory, it's better graphic card. And the memory should be chosen even over the speed. So better a graphic card with a lot of memory but slow speed than a low memory and higher speed. Because on when we work with deep learning, there is not such thing as low memory, low speed, but low memory is going just to give you out of error. And when you get that, you don't have any choice to work with that. Now that we know that the memory is the most important, we have usually this um, predefined memory on the graphic card. So I'm opening the text editor because it's the easier to, to show this. We have usually uh, predefined memories that they start, let's start with some decent uh, new cards because we have also like one gigabyte card, very old, like two gigabyte. Let's exclude that. We have, Cards with four gigabytes of video RAM, like for example, the all GTX 1050, 1050 Ti, 1650, and so on. Then, okay, let's remove, let's keep this. Then we have six gigabyte, like the GTX, uh, we have 1060, we have the version of six gigabyte, 1660, and 6060 Ti and so on. Then we have versions with eight gigabyte. Now I can think about one with eight gigabyte, but for sure like the 3070, the new RTX 3070. 
then we have 11 gigabyte like the r the gtx 1080 ti and then we have 12 gigabyte 12 gigabyte like the rtx 2060 and the rtx 3060 so these are generally the type of cards that we have like based on the remember of course there are many more models but now that's not important and i don't even want that you get lost with all these different models because that's not important what i want to say after we're, we're talking about memory is that the memory is one of the most important parameters the more you have the better generally speaking you shouldn't have less memory than eight gigabyte because i've been working with graphic cards with six gigabyte uh, you can train some object detection model some small object detection model you can even train some segmentation models so like you can work with yolo mask rcnn but with limited image size so in computer vision when we work with deep learning then it needs to process images and they have like some pretty fine size if you shrink the image you're going to lose some quality for the detection and you're going to feed it into the memory so with six, six gigabyte you can somehow work but i want to recommend that because it gets out of memory very soon so six gigabyte if you have that already you can use it to do some project don't buy that because now as also the algorithms are improving are getting better also the specs and requirements are higher than before so i'm going to remove six gigabyte and less of course less than six gigabyte is out of question don't get any of them because they will not be fine they will just be fine to run the model so you can object in deep learning we have two things that we need to work with the graphic card one is for the training so to prepare your custom model where you need a lot of memory so that that's where you need at least six eight then when you want to run that in real time with the model ready you need to have much less memory so in that case four six six gigabyte won't work but it's only partial part of you can do with that so it's out of question don't get such cards so i'm going to remove this now it stays so we select and we remove like with this a lot of cars and we should go from 8 gigabyte to 12 gigabyte now that we know this let's get practical and let's see like some real cards so i'm going also to give you like what is the best buy in my opinion and let's get back to the window i had before Uh, now straight to the point when we look for nvidia graphic card instead of looking the model when you when you look on your online shop you can just look for nvidia and then look the, the graphic card by memory so let's go like with 12 gigabyte so that we it shows a list of all the nvidia graphic cards with 12 gigabyte we have for example the nvidia rtx 3060 we have the nvidia rtx 2060 so these are the only uh, ones with 12 gigabyte for okay we have also the 3080 ti with 12 gigabyte gigabyte if we check the prices we see that the rtx 3060 has 12 gigabyte of memory for for uh, now i'm i'm checking like on this in prices that are around europe for under 34 euro 369 then 2060 so you should look on your shop whether it's physical shop or store online of your country like the one that you're most comfortable with to find uh, these graphic cards the prices should be similar around the world but of course there are some changes based on the month you're watching this video and also based on the country you're in based on the demand and request and, and offer so we have like a very good price of 2069 euro for this 2060 which is a great choice to buy for such price probably it has never been so low like at least in the last couple of year, years to get a gpu for uh, for such price while we have the rtx 3080 ti for 1199 euro from this shop which absolutely i will not recommend to buy for such price 
But most important, what I want to say is better memory over speed. Now, I want to make a very quick comparison what I mean speed and memory. For example, let's take into consideration the NVIDIA RTX 2060 with 12 gigabyte of memory right here for 2069 euro. So if we check how many CUDA cores has the RTX 2060, right here I check the RTX 2060 12 gigabyte, it has 2176 CUDA cores. These are parameters that we use to understand how fast it can train a deep learning model or it, it can detect objects. Generally, more CUDA cores means more speed. So let's keep this in mind, 2060, 12 gigabyte, 2176 CUDA. Let's now compare it with this one, the NVIDIA RTX 3070. We have two versions, the 3070 Ti and the 3070. They both have, have a huge amount of CUDA cores, like three times the NVIDIA 2060. So 6,144 and 5,000, 5, almost 6,000 for the RTX 3070, but they have eight gigabyte of RAM instead of 12. And if we compare their prices, so NVIDIA, uh, we sell like the RTX 2060, 370 euro, the NVIDIA RTX 3070, Let's see what, what's the cheapest one that we can get here. We are at least to 600 euros, so it's almost double price for this one. So which one should you choose among these two? I always say better, more memory, lower speed than the opposite, because with eight gigabyte of video RAM, you will not be able to train some models it will give you out of memory so what is now in my opinion the best buy in my opinion there are two best buy that you can get one is the nvidia 3060 so i have i got one of them but i still haven't opened it nvidia rtx 3060 around 500 euro is the price right now and the nvidia rtx 2060. So if you can afford it, go with the 3060. Uh, otherwise, even the 2060 with 12 gigabyte of video RAM is a very good option. I hope this video clarified a lot of your uh, of your expectations. And also, was almost forgetting. Do you really need a graphic card to work with computer vision? I will say no. If you have the chance to get a graphic card, it's better. But there are services like Google Colab, which will allow you to use the free graphic card you, uh, offered by Google for a certain amount of hours. You can do projects with them. I also offer that in my courses. So even people, if, if you buy and you don't have a graphic card, you can do the projects that's possible. Of course, having a graphic card will make things easier and you can do everything local instead of using external services. So it depends on what you're working with so if you're if you're doing this as a hobby if it's your profession and also at what level you are working at i hope that this video clarified all your questions feel free to put question below and let me know what you think about the graphic cards what's in your opinion in opinion the best buy and this is all for now see you in the next video